what's coming in 2024 i got you let's do this and uh yeah one more day with the christmas opener <laughs> What's up, guys? MTG Jedi here. Happy New Year to you. I hope you and your family are doing well. I hope you have had a wonderful time with friends or by yourself. And now you're relaxing on New Year's Day, watching some MTG Jedi and clicking that subscribe button so you can help me with my subscriber goal in 2024. 24,000 subscribers in 2024. Let's get there together. Let's jump on into the video today. So I like to do a video at the beginning of the year talking about my expectations and my wish list for 2024. And uh, Plarium seems to watch these because a lot of these things that I suggest happen to come on into the game. So if you uh, if you want to see that in action, like if you want to see proof of that, go back to the first videos of 2023, 2022. Go watch those videos. If I can find it uh, easily, I'll link it at the end of the video for you so it's, you can go find it easily. All right, so um, <laughs> tomorrow, look forward to some salt. As I was putting my salt in my coffee this morning, I was like, okay, I know exactly what I'm going to do for my video. And then, um, well, you know, it's the first video of 2024. I didn't want to come in with a pile of salt. So I decided to change my ways I'll save the salt for tomorrow, and today we're going to talk about what I would love to see in 2024, okay? Now, I have a bunch of awesome ideas, a bunch of things that I think will happen, and a bunch of things that I think need to happen. So, um, in my opinion, 2024 needs to be the year where Polarium fixes things that are already in the game. They don't like to do this. They do not like to do this. We have got it very sparingly over the years. It took like four years to get this guardian ring upgraded. And now, man, that is such such a blessing. But then also, we have yet to do any improvements here. We have yet to change anything in the token trader. We have yet to, you know rotate that i mean there's so many things that we could do we, as content creators we talk about this all the time but we need to go back and we need to upgrade some things okay number one thing that needs upgraded and polarium knows it is the tavern this is so old and outdated and so tedious that a lot of people stop playing the game because of this and now, with there being a lot of other games that have their tavern-like features uh, so easy, you just can't, you can't leave it like this. So I would expect us to be getting an upgrade to the tavern in 2024. Here's what I would like to see. Number one, I would like to see an auto-level feature, right? Just rank up everybody who is able to be ranked up with a with one click right uh, i i have all these 30s well not really just three i have three 30s right i don't care uh it will use any unlocked champions you can come in there and unlock them right auto level the the auto leveling it, it's not that bad but you could say you know let me select one two three four five six champions and then auto level them with the appropriate brews okay the biggest thing that i want to see is like when i'm gonna go ascend a champion why do i have to click it six times i know that the space bar trick exists if you're on pc if you're not, you're you're still there clicking every single time. What we want to do in the tavern is minimize the number of clicks. Get that number down uh, so much. Why is there no fully book this champion button, right? And then be creative, think outside the box, and make this feature better, okay? Just add some other things here, right? I don't know what we need to add, but we definitely need to improve it. Like, those things would be, like, the quickest, right? Those things would be the quickest things. Maybe we need, like, an auto-sacrifice, 
right? If I'm going to go level this up, I should be able to select all two, you know, like give me a little drop down menu, sacrifice all one, two, and three star champions. You probably don't want to do that, but sometimes I do, right? Sometimes I do. Either way, we need this feature to be upgraded like <clears throat> two years ago. So, <laughs> so let's go on in here and upgrade this feature. The second feature that I think that we'll be getting in 2024 is a new marketplace. This is not a hard feature to add. You can literally just change it to something like this, you know, Yuletide tab event over here where you have all of these different things and it just takes you where you need to go or you know like a little menu basically obviously you need to upgrade this can't tell you the last time i bought anything in here that wasn't a mystery or an ancient shard literally no one does it what what person at any level needs flat attack common four star boots literally no one needs this ever no one needs this ever. Make this be the level uh, of your tavern at level 40, and then maybe I'm going to buy this five-star uncommon shield at level 40, okay? But this this tavern, or uh, excuse me, I probably said tavern instead of market. The market has been an absolute joke in the game for the longest time. The longest time it's been an absolute joke. So let's improve that. Let's just build a new feature okay you could have um another upgrade to the mine uh we definitely need more silver in 2024 i would say probably the best way to do that is to stop this gear swapping fee if i want to come in here and switch these how much is that going to cost me to switch one piece of gear uh i need to go in the fitting room that is going to cost me 100,000 silver to switch one piece of gear. And then if you add, that's, uh, oh, let's make it be legendary. Okay, that does not change the price, all right? Now, if I were to come in here and want to change all of these, it just starts adding up really, really quickly. As And pretty soon, you're up at a million silver just to equip a champion. We shouldn't need that, okay? I think we need to cut that cost down. There's a lot of gear swapping that needs to happen. If you want us to be able to beat this content, that needs to go down. But there are also other ways to help us with the silver. So let's hop over to Ice Golem and talk about that. I know that seems like a weird, a, a weird like segue, but it's true. And you probably don't even know this. These artifact sets, okay, basically Ice Golem is... Oh, geez, I messed up the thing. I'm not going to edit that out. I apologize. Basically, Ice Golem is just campaign gear. If you go look in campaign and you look at the gear sets are in here, the majority of those are in Ice Golem. Not all, but most. Like, more than any other dungeon. Why is that a problem? When you go to sell the gear from campaign, it sells for less than the sets that are unique. So, for example, okay, um, I'm going to pick Savage Gear because that's what's going on right now. I need to farm this. You need to farm this. Everybody needs to farm this, okay? Um, with this Savage Gear, Savage Gear is going to sell for more than, say, a Life Gear. So, let me, let me figure out a way to show that to you. All right, I got this set up. This is perfect and easy, right? Okay, so I click on this. Or actually, let me do the weapon, okay? This is a quad attack weapon that I have not had uh, the opportunity to find someone to put it on. But it is sweet, okay? So, this is level 16, 6 star legendary, 34,000 silver. If I come down to Savage Gear, same type of weapon, sells for 3 times as much. You probably didn't even know this was a part of the game. Or maybe like in the back of your brain, you're like, oh, that makes sense. I felt like that was true this whole time. And it is, okay? So in our dungeons, some of our gear sells for less than other gear. That is an easy fix, Polarium. That's an easy fix. You can just go in there and you can change the numbers like in two seconds. 
for life, offense, defense, all of this gear from campaign, just make it sell for the same amount as the other gear that we're getting that's new or different or however you want to classify it. And that will make a significant difference. That'll make a big change in the amount of silver that we're getting enough that it's going to be helpful. Okay. That would be an easy, easy thing to change. Okay. And I highly recommend that we do that. In addition, though, the gear in Ice Golem's Peak. I'm very passionate about this. No one, no one in the game uses life, offense, defense, crit rate. No one. No one uses it. Some of these other sets that have been buffed now are good. Resistance is still good. Retaliation, Reflex, Curse, Provoke, they've all been buffed. They're all good now. Now it's time to fix the base sets. No one's going to use life. We get... We get Immortal every day from Clan Boss. Who's going to use this set? We get Cruel every day from Clan Boss. Who's going to use this set? Here's what you need to do to change it, okay? You need to increase the percentages. It doesn't need an extra feature. It just needs to be 18%. 18, 20, 25%. It needs to be a, a higher percent than 15. So come in there, change all of these. Crit rate... I think the crit rate needs to be a lot higher. There's no reason for anyone to use crit rate right now. It's just too easy to get crit rate. However, maybe if you made it a one piece set where we could come in here and get like 6%, 7, 8% on one item, instead of making this a two piece set, make it a one piece set. I think that would really help. Then all of a sudden people are using an offset piece in their builds and that's going to help us get to the stats we need how often have you guys seen on the channel where i have had um you know 98 99 crit rate let's you let the crit rate set fix that okay so that's my improvements for ice golem i personally would also change the mechanics of ice golem because i find them to not be fun i find them to be annoying however the hard ice golem i think is better is it better i don't know it's still annoying I, nobody likes ice golem because i don't think those boss mechanics are fun so personally i would change that i think that the ice golem should be freezing people then we could bring in anti-freeze stuff have hp burn work in there somehow i mean i think that you could easily change ice golem to be a lot cooler so i would i would make some changes there I think that Polarium is, is considering making changes to Sand Devil, Phantom Shogun, and Iron Twins. If you're going to make changes to Iron Twins, the main thing that needs buffed are the rewards. The rewards in some of these game modes are embarrassing, Polarium. They're embarrassing, and people don't want to do it. Now, I actually think since the buff to the rewards for Sand Devil and Phantom Shogun that they're at an okay level. However, a lot of people still don't farm these two dungeons because it takes so much energy. So I would consider an energy cost reduction here. Instead of this being 20, let's scale it back a little bit. Let's make it easier for people to farm more on Sand Devil and Phantom Shogun. So I don't, I hope that they will listen to me on that. I really do. I want to take this time in the middle of the video here to have you guys tell me in the comments below what you want in 2024. Which of my ideas do you like? Which do you not like? I really want to hear from you guys. And if you appreciate this, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. That's going to really help this video get to more people. So Polarium will value this more than in the past spontaneous addition to the list minotaur this has not been updated since the game was made there have been no changes to the minotaur's dungeon since the game was made please polarium make some type of change i would personally love to see an easier way to get masteries a cheaper way to get masteries you want us 
to level up like 5,000 champions for Cursed City, here's the easy way to do it. Add more chickens in the game somehow. And number two, come over here and change this dungeon. Just make it easier. Every champion in the game needs masteries. It shouldn't take 2,300 energy or 800 gems in order to get the masteries on all of the champions. Like, I'm not kidding you. I need to get masteries on approximately 30 champions right now. I don't have the gems to do that. I ran this dungeon for the first time. I ran it for the first time recently, two days ago or something. I ran four champions for masteries here. And yeah, I put in like 8,000 energy for that. Uh, I think it was, I don't know, because I set it to auto you know, read, re add some energy. So it was probably close to 9,000 energy. Probably 9,000 energy for four champions, player. I mean, that's too much. And it takes too long. Like, my run is pretty quick with, with Leo because he's six star awakened and I have end game gear on him. So it takes like 35 seconds with my four champions. But other people, it's not that quick. And also, why? <laughs> why? Why are you forcing us to... Like, all of these old mechanics in the game need to be updated, and that's going to cut down on the time in the game. And we need a lot more of that. We need a lot more ways to cut down the time in the game. Be creative. Be concise. Cut down the time in the game so we can do what we want to do. Like, I never get to play live arena. You can see that I'm going down, right? Um, I have had very little time to actually do the Cursed City. Because when I come in here, I have to do all my dailies. And all of those quests take a long time. They take a long time to do all of these things every day, right? So we need ways to speed that up in 2024. All right, here's the fun one in the middle of the video here. We are going to get a new faction in 2024. I know that it's coming, okay? I already know. I personally would love to see pirates, okay? Pirates, water-based champions, um, you know, merfolk, um, scoundrels and hooligans, and all of those types of things. Think, um... Pirates of the Caribbean, think um, any type of Aquaman, like all of those types of things. That's what I would love to see here in this last faction. What do I think it will be, though? I think it will be the Mages Guild. I think it'll be the Mages Guild. I think in there we'll be able to summon elementals. I think that we'll be able to have... I, I put it in the thumbnail. It's the Year of the Dragon. I think there will be dragons in there that will be different from Lizardmen. I think that there will be um, beasts that we can summon. We'll take a little bit from a bunch of different factions, right? We can have, like, wolves in there or something. Like, not humanoid like the actual animals, like the actual animals. And we've hinted with that, right? We have hinted with that, that there are mounts in the game, right? Like Tatura Rhymehide, for example. I think that those are plants for this last faction. We might even get a new type of champion in the game, like a companion champion. I think that could be really cool. A mount or a companion champion. I think that could be really, really cool. You could summon an ally during the fight. You could start with them on your team to, you know, get a five on four advantage, for example. But I think in 2024, we're going to get a new faction. If we get a new faction, which one do you want? Okay. So, uh, the rewards and ways to get primal shards, as well as the prices, need to change in 2024. I am not going to recommend people buy primal shards when they cost four, five, six dollars a piece. Even the holiday specials were four dollars a piece. I'm not going to recommend it. I am not going to recommend it, Plarium. That's too much. These are red ancient shards. They are red ancient shards, and when you pull one, you're going to get a rare. Give us more ways to get your stupid primal quartz, or just give us more primal shards. 
Okay, some of my primal shards are purchased, but I do a pretty good job saving them. I did not pull them this weekend because I pulled like a billion void shards, right? So, all of that needs to change in 2024. I really, really feel that strongly. Just start giving this to us as rewards more often, more often, okay? I'm very excited in 2024 that we will be getting the real clan versus clan in here, okay? Um, oh, it's on the screen. So, clan versus clan, we're going to be getting a real clan versus clan. That needs to be really good. That needs to be really good. If that's a flop, it's going to be bad. Okay, Curse City was very helpful. I think that the difficulty level on Curse City needs to go down. And here's why I say that. I think that I could clear this content. I think that I could. I have the champions to do it. If you go look at the best teams, nobody in my clan has, has beaten that level. Um, if you come over here to global though, you can see basically everybody's using the same teams that I have. Okay. They're using Dan X goal reap. So maybe I need to do that, but I just find this content annoying. I just find it annoying like that. It's too restrictive, right? There's no reviver on this team. How do I keep this team alive? It's no longer interesting. It's just, I'm not going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. So, like, I, I like the idea of a challenge coming in here and trying to beat these things. Which one? Which one's the crazy one? No, not 20. Is it 21? No, that's the one I actually want to try. Which, which one is the one with the stupid champions? I thought it was 19. Yeah, 19. Like, what in the world were you actually thinking here? Okay. I bring bring the power level down a little bit in over here in uh in Soul Cross. Bring the power level down. Give us some more options. I think that you need to tweak this, right? Go look at how few people in the world are beating these stages and then tell me that it's okay, all right? And Plarium does this a lot where they just come in and like uh you know, make the content insanely hard. Like, there's no way anyone on their development team was beating these levels with these champions. They didn't do that. They hit random. They hit random. They're like, oh, yeah, um, for, for you know, we'll do magic, attack, and HP, and they just randomly assigned them. I guarantee you that's what happened. But you need people to actually be able to beat this, okay? And it has to be fun and enjoyable, okay? It has to be fun and enjoyable. This is not fun and enjoyable. It's not. I'm just over it. I don't want to move all the gear on my account around so that, like, all these champions are 300 speed with, like, ridiculous giant piles of stats so they can be survivable. I don't want to put everybody in regen gear or stun gear. I don't want to do that stuff. I want to use the champions for what they're designed to do. And if if you just take a minute and think about it, you could make some really cool levels. You have some champions with really niche, interesting abilities that could be really cool. For example, which what stage was I actually fighting? Was it this one with the Cupidises? There's a stage in here with Cupidises. It's not this one, okay? I don't remember which one it is. Which one's the Cupidus Venus Wave 1, okay? In that stage, it would be great to be able to use some of these champions that can be anti-counterattacks. Because with Cupidus and Venus, you're going to get counterattacked the crap out of it, okay? It would be cool to be able to come in here and on that stage... Use a champion that won't trigger counterattacks. We need to think about what champions you're trying to get us to use on what waves. Okay? Also, here's my big idea for 2024, and that is mercenaries. Okay? Oh, I was right there. In this faction, or have it be their own thing, the factionless mercenaries that can be used 
in these constrictive environments, right? Restrictive, constrictive, whatever. Um, like, give me a mercenary that I can come in here and I can choose, like, he can only be used in, like, five different floors or something, you know? Don't don't make it unlimited, because then we'll just have, okay, what are the five best mercenaries? They're going to come in here and be my team in every level. That'll be boring. Don't do that. Make it, you know, you can hire one mercenary for each area, right? Or, or you know, like, maybe, maybe your mercenary gets five fights anywhere in the Cursed City. Or maybe they get one fight in each area of the four areas, right? But I think that the idea of mercenaries in the game, and from listening to you guys in the comments, that sounds like you guys think it would be great. I love the idea of these double bosses. We need more of that. That's been very interesting. Just make sure that it's beatable, okay? Make sure that the champions we have available can actually beat it. Because, like... Which, uh, one of these bosses with the Fire Knight, like, it was pretty oppressive not having an ally attack champion, not having a counter attack champion, not having champions with multi-hits to be able to beat stuff like this. We need to think ahead of time, what are the restrictions that we're putting on here, and, you know, is that achievable? Will it be fun? You need somebody on your team, Plarium, that is thinking about, will this be fun? We want to have fun in the game. Make it be fun. Okay, uh, I think that in addition to the Hydra Clash, we need to be able to get those accessories from our chests. I really do. I think that in here should be the accessories as well. Because, man, I just, it's so hard to win Hydra Clashes and then use, and then get the appropriate things. Shout out to my clan, Oath of Unity, who we're winning right now. Um, I'm killing it up here <laughs> on the top of the list. But, uh, you know, new personal best on, uh, actually on Brutal and Hard, personal best. Uh, I think I can do better with Acrisia, so I'm going to try again. But yeah, really just rocking it at the top of the list there. Big shout out to my clan as well. All right, let's talk about a couple little uh, quality of life things. That should be the motto for 2024, quality of life, okay? If we come in here, we have this amazing gear filter, okay? Just add more things to it. Add more things to it. There's so much we could do with this, right? There's so much we could do with this. I would love to be able to click a button and find the gear that is level zero. Or does this count as level one? I don't know what level this is. This is level zero, right? Upgrade one level. Yeah, okay. I want to be able to find all of the gear of certain levels. Okay, I can't leave it like that. Let's just upgrade a piece of gear for the video. Okay, that's keepable. Um, I need it. I need it. As a content creator who's gearing champions for people, I need it. I need it for myself. That's the main thing. But just add more stuff here. You know, don't don't just stop with like one little thing. Add a bunch of other features to your gear filter. Also, add a bunch of features to your champion filter. Okay? And please, for the love, add the filters to all of the screens. Why on earth do I not have a champion filter that is accessible on every screen? For example, it is absolutely miserable trying to find champions for your 3v3 defense. It is miserable. I haven't updated my 3v3 defense in forever. If you're beating me, Congratulations. I don't even know the last time I changed it. Um, why is there no filter on this screen? There's no filter here. Let's talk about Hydra. When you come over here into Hydra <coughs> and you want to come in here, when you're on the team setup screen, why is there no filter? There's no filter. You just saw the old one. How how are we supposed to find our champions for this? 
We need all of the filters on all of the screens. Period. End of story. All the filters, all the screens. Just do it. It's not that hard. All right? It's not that hard. I'm sure there's a lot of other things that we could come in here and talk about. Those are the majority of the things on my list, unless I missed something. I'm pretty sure that's everything. So let me know what you think. What's on your list for 2024? Oh, wait. Wait. One last thing. Live Arena sucks. We need a way to change these battle rules. There are no restrictions or special rules for team composition at the moment. You can hold tournaments in the game, Plarium. Or please just give me the friendly battle option and I will hold the tournaments. I will, I'm will. i very knowledgeable and experienced on setting up and holding tournaments. I will set it all up. We'll do it. Give us friendly battles and give us a way to change the battle rules. That's it. Give us a way to change the battle rules. Please. Please. People will like this game mode so much better if we don't have to come in here and fight the same 10 champions every single time who changes their teams only if you're trying to be interesting or different okay also the rewards for this game mode suck they're terrible 35 wins 35 wins to get a a reward 35 wins I can't even tell you how terrible that is. This should be five. This should be five wins to get this chest. And yes, that means that there are some people in the game that will get 4,000 chests because they play live arena all the time. Go look at your data. You know most people are not playing this game mode. If you change it to five wins, all of a sudden, that's an achievable goal. I can go get a chest a day. I can go do five fights. Also, the time for this is not conducive to most people. A lot of people can't do these times. So we need a way to be able to do live arena. Those friendly battles, let them count for some amount of chests. Maybe you max it at one chest per day. Okay, or, or two or three or four or five. Whatever it is, cap the amount of chests you can win per day or something, okay? And then after that, it still counts towards your track and your level, all of those things. Also, I know this is going to sound controversial, but we should have seasons and people's points should reset. We should go backwards. We should drop down in levels. Everybody should not just live in the top tier that wherever their maximum tier they've ever gotten to, they shouldn't stay there forever. That's not how these game modes work. Just go look at Marvel Snap, copy their model, put it in the game like this, and people will be much happier, okay? Upgrades to existing game modes. That should be the motto, the mentality for 2024, and then coming in and adding a little bit more. Thank you for watching. I'm MTG Jedi. Let me know what you think about all these things. I do want to hear your opinions, and I will see you guys in the next video.